Encountering the Windows Management Files Moved or Missing Error in Windows 11. In this quick guide, I'll share five effective fixes to resolve this issue and restore your system's functionality. Press Windows key plus R. Now, type CMD. After that, press Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter keys together. After you have opened the terminal, you need to briefly stop the WMI service. Simply copy this code and paste it in CMD and hit enter thereafter. Net stop WinMGMT. Once you see, do you want to continue this operation? Click on Y to permit the process. Afterward, press Windows key plus E. Follow this path. See to Windows So System 32. Once you are inside the System 32 folder, scroll down and look for the repository folder. Right click on that folder and then click on Rename. Rename the folder to repository.old. Note, if you are unable to rename, then try booting IA Safe Mode and then try renaming it again. Once you have changed the name, close the File Explorer. Maximize the CMD terminal. Finally, the last step is all about to resume the stalled WMI service. Execute the command. Net start WinMGMT. Once you have done all these, close the CMD terminal. Don't forget to restart your computer. Cl Click on the Windows icon and type Services. Once you have done that, hit Enter from your keyboard. Once you see that the Services panel has appeared, scroll down to almost bottom of the panel to find Windows Management Instrumentation, WMI Service. Then, Double-click on it to modify it. Simply, click on the drop-down icon of startup type and set it to automatic from the drop-down. A click on the Start button in the same window and the service will be running on your device. Finally, click on the Apply, followed by another click on OK to save. Write CMD in the search box beside the Windows icon. What you need to do is to right-click on Command Prompt and then click on Run as Administrator. To navigate to the WebM folder, execute this address code in the terminal. After that, execute this simple command in the CMD terminal. Finally, paste this command. Once you have done that, paste Enter. Close the CMD window. Reboot your device. Open the CMD terminal as administrator. Search CMD in Windows search box and then right click and click on Run as admin. Once you have opened it, copy paste this code in CMD and hit enter. After that, close the CMD window. Thanks for watching. If it helps, make sure to hit like and subscribe.